problems that uh, really owners of a lot of different crops. Watermelon, soybeans, and in this case cotton will have, is uh, uh, the, the plant being damaged by verticillium wilt. And verticillium, of course, is a fungus, and it's hit this field pretty hard, hasn't it, Jason? Yes, sir. It definitely has, and it, it hit it hard and fast. All right. So. This, is, this is Jason Birkenfeld. Um, he's with uh, Soil Menders, and we are uh, near Plainview, Texas, and this is your operating territory. That's correct. And you, this is a, a field that belongs to one of your clientele. You were scouting the field, found the, uh, found the verticillium wilt, and at that point, uh, how did you know that it was that? Well, uh, experience, I guess, and, okay. and uh, it, it's a problem that plagues a lot of producers in this area, you know, and, and uh, it, uh, it comes on a lot of times when we get weather such as we've had right now, which is uh, just hot and humid, you know, and it, it really allows a lot of disease to, to express itself in our crops. So. Now, you pulled up, you pulled a, a couple of cotton plants, you checked them, some, some plants seem to be healthy, they were uh, all clear, but in this case, where you had a lot of wilt in the plant, uh, you saw, what did you see in the stems? Well, we can see this, this black in here, uh, it, uh, that's an expression of the vert. Uh, that's the disease in the vascular system. And even, even this tissue here, this vascular tissue, uh, it looks rough. You know, the plant's having a heart attack is what it boils down to. So uh, this, this uh, plant was treated five days ago with uh, something we've been playing around with to, to treat vert. And uh, it's proving very effective. As you can see, it, uh, towards the bottom of the plant here, we start to regain healthy tissue. And that's that plant repairing itself. That's that vascular system becoming healthy again and essentially shucking the disease. All right. So if you, what, sort of, what sort of symptoms is a plant going to have if it's got this? What should people be looking for that they can quickly see without having to, uh, uh, to pull up a lot of plants? Well, uh, in the leaves, uh, you'll start to see this yellowing and purpling. And then uh, a lot of times, uh, if it's really hitting it hard, you'll see a pile of leaves on the ground off the plant. And, and you'll end up with a skeleton a lot of times. So uh, normally, that's, that's verticillium wilt. Some of it's experience seeing it, uh, and you, you know it's there. So um, uh, I think the key right now in, in this weather is to uh, uh, do something about it pretty quick. Because and what do you, what do, you do? Uh, we've got a treatment we've been working with, uh, a couple different products we blend to blended together. We call it Vert Blend. And, uh, is this a fungicide? Is that what it is? It's not. Uh, it's, it's, it's a product that uh, enhances plant health and, and health in that vascular system. And, and basically, you know, the, the vascular system is getting clogged up and we're opening it right back up and allowing the plant to function and recover from the disease. Is there a point at, in, the, uh, in the health of the crop that, that it's still going to be very useful? Is there a point when you really got to say uh, that, that my investment uh, may, be, may, may, not, may not pay off? Well, I think later in the season, you know, uh, if it comes on really late, uh, you know, basically this is just buying us time. So, um, you know, we've got fields that have been sprayed for over a month now and, and they're holding well. You can start to see a little bit coming back, but you know, if we can get another good month here uh, out of this cotton developing, That'd be great, but you know we hit the end of September and, and you start to see it uh, expressing itself. It may not pay, um, but uh, I, th I think right now it'd pay handsomely because we've got a long ways to go on this crop. And you lose all the leaves, well, you lose you lose your energy production. So, what have I not asked about that you think is important for growers to know about uh, uh, looking for this and and being able to treat it? Well, I, I think uh, you know a lot of times. Uh, uh, we, we think, oh, we've got a tolerant variety, uh, uh, stuff like that. But uh, I, I will say that uh, probably 75% of the varieties we have sprayed are some of the most vert tolerant varieties of cotton there are. So, uh, and then, uh, to, you know, when the weather's present like this, uh, you know, the conditions exist to, for it to really spread. I think you catch it early. Uh, this field, we, we might have waited a week too long, but uh, the first time I saw it, you know, is it just in the bottom of the plants. And it typically doesn't move this fast, but uh, this one, it really got after it. So. All right, that's our report from a cotton field here near uh, Plainview, Texas. And our thanks to Jason Birkenfeld of uh, uh, Soil Menders up Tulia. This is Stu Ellis, and thanks for watching.